In this video I'm going to show you how to update your Skybox. I've done this before, but last time it was real time, this time it's going to be, well, within 3 minutes, but it will take 10 to 15 minutes to fully update your Skybox. So uh, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be this quick. The real video will be in the description below how long it takes in real time. So first of all you're going to have to press on your sky remote sky button. Turn it on. Press services. Press the arrows to settings. Pull down the arrow down to picture. Move along and you get to details. And that will currently tell you what your current um, box software is operating at. On this one it's operating at RO12. It, the new one is RO13 so that's how you know instantly if your machine is using the older software or not. Sometimes they can change it just in the actual uh, number R13 instead of 79 it could be 81 but this is a release 13 so now I'm going to force the update normally what happens on updates is if you look at network version it says 1.3 uh, 1 when I first got this box it said 1.00 then it said 1.01 1.02 now it says 03. It might with this update it might go to 1.04. So I don't know until I've done this because I've never done this update. This is the first time I'm doing this this update for you guys. So I'm just gonna force the update now. Okay, to force the update, you're gonna have to hold down the backup button. So remove your power cord, keep your hand on the backup button, now simply just place it and plug it back in, or keeping your hand on the backup button until the front display lights all appear. If you are successful, you will have something that looks like this. Once the lights appear on the skybox, this screen will appear, and it will tell you updating system software so about 10 well after you know it's normally about 10 to 15 minutes because 10 minutes for this and then another five minutes before it actually reboots <laughs> the update took over 13 minutes to do and now the sky box has gone into standby we can now try Turn on the sky box to see if the update was successful or not. So press the sky button. And if your box is a 2013 onwards and you've done the recent updates, it should have CEC activated. So if your TV supports CEC, you should be able to turn it on by controlling by control through the HDMI connection. Okay, so they've got a message up here. Your Sky HD box has been updated. <clears throat> so that normally means that it's been updated. If it doesn't appear, that normally means it couldn't find any software. So it basically just did the normal steps, couldn't find it, and then basically it wasted your time. <laughs> but this time it seems to have worked in my favour. So, so let's uh, see what's changed. It is now easier to watch Skybox sets on your Sky HD box. Pressing down the arrow. Okay, so yeah. Those are the new features and you can check the system software has been updated by check on system. Oh R13 release. So that proves it's changed. 
The network version seems to have stayed the same this time though, so that hasn't gone up. <laughs> so I'm, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't know because I've never done the update before. So and there's not much information in terms of uh, <laughs> the um, the uh, information here. What I'm displaying right now. So okay, so that's done. That concludes the update. Uh, I think I'll just go into the main menu to see if there's anything interesting there. Ah, oh, a new message. <coughs> it's now even easier to watch a whole Skybox set. Press download all and you'll see every episode in your planner. And your <clears throat> and more will be downloaded as you watch. Until then, show as pending to save space. Okay, select. I heard there's supposed to be more artwork in this. Yeah, there's more artwork. So I just put more images on there. Apart from that, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> Worth it, not worth it, you know, you decide. But obviously it doesn't cost you anything to update your Skybox and uh, it's recommended for you to do that to um, enable the latest features that Sky has to offer. So yeah, like I said, <laughs> you don't have to do it. But if you leave your Skybox on at night, it will normally update for you, so you don't even have to do the false update. But this is just a video showing you how to do the false update. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.